They're getting more creative. Hello, Get the Controversy here, and earlier today, I was almost the victim of a scam. One of those phone scams where they call you and tell you your account's been compromised and whatever, and they try to get information out of you. And normally I'm very perceptive to this. I'm able to notice, okay, this is obviously a scam. If I have the time, I might lead them on just to waste their time. But these guys, they they were pretty good. I got to say is that they were pretty good, and I just want to let everyone know what they did. So what they did is they told me that a new uh, Amazon account using my name and my credentials was made, and it purchased an Amazon and purchased a MacBook Pro, or I, yeah, I think it was a MacBook Pro for fifteen hundred dollars, and they were calling as the fraud department, and somehow they got my first name and they got it right. Normally, I get calls for Terry, and my name's not Terry. Somehow, these guys got it right. Uh, I suspect maybe my voicemail, but whatever. Somehow, they got right, and they told me that they were taking care of it. They canceled the deal. They canceled the transaction. They weren't asking for any of my personal information. They weren't doing any of the things that typically comes with scams, like asking for your email address, your password, your credit card information, your bank information, anything like that. They were very, very subtle. But then they said that they weren't able to cancel the transaction and that they had to transfer me to my bank. And because everything seemed on the up and up so far, because I've had some fraud calls, I've had some things where I actually had the company call me and their script was very, very close to what you would get from one of those calls. So it, it they were doing very good phishing and they were lulling me into a false sense of security. And then when they transferred me to my bank fraud department, they asked for the basic stuff, which was my name and the last four digits of my social. And that that and their script also sounded very similar to what happens when you call actual my actual bank's fraud department. So these guys were very, very on it. But then, thankfully, I realized that I'm gonna call my bank myself. And when I said that, they started to get angry and that's a telltale sign that this is a scam. And I unfortunately didn't have time to come on, but yeah. I, I called my bank, they said, no, this is a scam. You have, There are no uh, fraudulent charges pending on your account. And we went over all my different account charges and it was all good. But I just want to let everyone know that this is a new one that they did, where instead of being very upfront about the information that they're asking for, they are very, very sneaky about it. They wait until they tell you, okay, we're doing all of these things in the background without asking you for any information because... Basically, everyone's BS detector, fraud detector, is set that, okay, in the first minute, they're going to start asking for information. This guy led me on for probably a good 15 minutes or so without asking for any information, being very, very normal to a real script. And it, it was close. So I just want to let everyone know that just make sure to follow gut instinct don't give out any information if they call you call call the real number back check out make sure that you get the real number and call the real number and if it is a real fraud they will be okay with it and if it is real fraud they should say okay make sure that you call us back and ask for this person so yeah it's it's crazy out there, so be aware, spread the word, tell all your different uh, fraud uh, scam baiters out there. I know I'm going to send this to like Boga and uh, Pleasant Dreams or Pleasant Greens, whatever his name is. I'm going to send it to a couple of scam baiters, let them know and probably include with them the phone number that they called me from so that maybe they could have a little fun with these monsters. <laughs> so uh, yeah, be on the lookout, be vigilant, be aware. The scam is very, very convincing, and it. Uh, if you ever suspect fraud, call back, call the actual fraud department directly. Don't let them transfer you, 
and yeah, go from there. All right, well, this is Gath Controversy signing off, and stay safe out there.